Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This video is all about the angle of depression, and it comes to me from one of my viewers, Favor from Barbados. And this is the question that uh, Favor poses for us today. All right, it's kind of a fairly typical angle of depression type of problem, and it involves um, being able to draw a right triangle and solve it using some trig functions. So here we go. The angle of depression of a boat, which is directly out to sea, as observed from the top of a vertical cliff 50 meters high is 32 degrees. The angle of depression, 32 degrees. Find the distance of the boat from the foot of the cliff. Now I have a beautiful artistic drawing here that is gonna help us with this problem. Let me put the numbers in as we know them. So the cliff is 50 meters high from uh, the observer down to the water and the boat is X meters from the cliff the angle of depression, which is when, and I put this in a previous video, when you're standing on top of the cliff looking straight across horizontally, that's called line of sight, if you angle down from there 32 degrees to look at the boat. So again, we're going to be kind of thinking of this as a right triangle, and we're looking right there at the boat. So this angle right here is the angle of depression 32 degrees. All right, so what are we going to do with this? Well, let's make a right triangle out of it. We can think of this right triangle in a couple of different ways. We could use the angle of depression, 32 degrees, right here. And instead of X being along the water, let's say X is also straight across from the cliff to right above the boat. And this would be 50. So we just kind of label all our parts. And we notice that this is our reference angle. This is the adjacent leg of the right triangle. And this is the opposite leg. Or we can think of it and just flip the triangle around. It's the same triangle actually. Now we're looking at it as an angle of elevation. So we're in the boat looking back up to the cliff and that would also be 32 degrees. The cliff of course is 50 and the X leg here is the distance we're looking for. So either way we're going to be using the tangent function. So the tangent of 32 degrees equals the opposite leg, 50, over the adjacent leg, x, 50 over x. We're going to solve for x, and there's a couple different ways we can do this. One way to do this is to cross multiply tangent 32 degrees times x, which um, tangent there is 0.6249, if you do that on your calculator, um, equals 50. We're going to go ahead and divide each side by... 0.6249 and that will give us our answer 50 divided by 0.6249 now I'm always rounding off my um, trig values here to four decimal places the second method here is since my variable is in the denominator of this equation here's a quick little trick that might save you a little bit of writing think of this tangent 32 degrees as tangent 32 over 1 so now I have a proportion. And yes, you cross multiply to solve proportions, but we can also switch diagonally the two values of a proportion to make it easier. So I switch the tangent 32 and the x. That makes my equation this. x equals 50 over the tangent 32 degrees, which again is 0.6249. And either way I do it, when I do that division, I'm going to get my answer, which is 80.0 something. So we're going to call it 80 meters. So the boat is 80 meters away from the cliff. All right. Well, Favor, thanks for the question. And thanks for watching all the way from Barbados. Appreciate you sending in that question. All right. Take care, everybody. All right. There you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.